Let's create a really elegant PDF file system where a user can upload a PDF document, change its name in the process, and then save it to the database. And then later on, view them in a repeating group, and of course, view that PDF in the browser. Okay, so over on the bubble canvas, let's see what I've done here. So I have a file uploader. The default file uploader is super ugly. I've just restyled this to look like a button. You can set your max file size for PDFs, okay? Can you upload anything here? Yes, you can. It doesn't need to be a PDF. You can upload any kind of document, but let's stick to PDFs for this tutorial. Uh, so that is a file uploader. Then I have a repeating group which is type of content file. Let's go look at what a file is. File is a data type, which has an, a file is a file, sorry, on the input. So it shows the file type on the field, gave it a name. And then, uh, in term, and then there's an opportunity to change the name of the file because sometimes people save file names uh, in a format that's not very pretty. So I'm giving us the opportunity to actually attach a, an alias to this file. Okay, so that's a file data type. Then in there, I've just dropped in an icon so we know it's a PDF, pulling in the name. And then this is a link icon. And how we view PDFs or files is we choose an external URL. And when Bubble saves data to the Amazon S3 storage, it doesn't include HTTPS. So we have to type in HTTPS colon, and then it's just the current sales files URL. Okay, current sales file is the data type, uh, file is the field, uh, and when you click on file, you're given all these options here, file name or the URL. So that's the URL, and then we open it in a new tab. Let's quickly see how I have created the UI around this, right, the user interaction. So I'm going to upload a PDF, and let's see what happens. Okay, here we go, uploading the file. And uh, let's see what happens here. So that's coming up. See our progress bar. And now we see a pop-up because I'm giving the person opportunity to rename this. So I don't want the file extension here. I'm just going to delete that and then save. Here we have here, the second one. And then if I click on the link element to view, well, there we can view the PDF. Okay, so that's the full workflow. I guess you could have a pencil icon to show that pop-up again, display data in the pop-up, change something, you know, maybe you want to delete it. So what's going on here? So where should you start? Because this is a file uploader, there is no click to start a workflow. We have to start in the workflow section, okay? What you want to do is choose elements and then an input's value is changed. Okay, I've done that already here. So I've selected the file uploader. When that value is changed, what I'm doing is setting a state. I'm setting a state to the page. I've created a custom state called file and it's of type file. Then I'm saying the value is this file uploader's value. Okay, I'm doing this to create flexibility around the workflow here. So I'm not saving it anywhere. I'm first setting a state then resetting inputs on that file uploader itself. Then I'm going to show the pop-up. Let's have a look at this pop-up. This pop-up has an input. The input is set to the state on the page. Remember the file state? Here it is here. Okay, that's of type file, and, of, and then I want the file name that's just been uploaded. So I put that into this input. Therefore, I have an opportunity to rename this file Okay, I can cancel or I can save. If I go save, well, then I'm creating a new file in the database. The file name is the input value that I've just changed. We can leave it as is and just save it as is. That's fine. Then the file itself is this, the page state that I set of type file. And then I can do things like, you know, save the file to the current user if I'd like to, hide the pop-up, reset inputs, and then reset the state. So we uh, 
we've closed the circle, gone down to, we've closed the circle and reset the default. Okay, so we set the state, reset the input of that file uploader and then show the pop-up and then the pop-up is where we do all of that manipulation. And you've got a really nice clean file system. As I said, you can add an icon to delete this file or you can have a pencil icon to then display data to the pop-up to then you know, manip manipulate that data further. So I hope that this will get you started. At the very beginning, I said that this can pertain to anything. Images, XLS, XLS files, Word documents, whatever you like. You just have to be clever with the icon. Uh, you can use, for instance, a conditional to say if the extension of this file is .png, well then change the icon to an image. Or if the extension is .xls, change it to an XLS uh, icon. So have fun with it.